Okay, you guys. Okay, so this is going to be my Java tutorial. Of course, I'm not. I'm no expert in Java, but I think what I what I'm going to teach you in this is how to get started in Java on this BlueJ environment. Uh, so my main focus is to help those who are going to start ICSC ninth grade and tenth grade. Because they're the ones that are going to be using Java, BlueJ the most, and Java is a pretty big part of the portions. But of course, if you want to learn Java uh, my way, then you can of course start this. I'm going to really dumb it down for you guys, or you guys can watch it for a quick recap if you are already interested. So first, you got to go to BlueJ.org. You can download it with the link. Of course, I already have it downloaded. So let's go here. And you can do so. First, you're gonna to go to project and click new project. I've already made my new project, uh, and I've named it season one after season one. It's gonna be four seasons for sharing what I've learned, what I will learn in four years. I've just learned my first year now, and that's gonna be what I comprise in season one. So, let's go to new class. So, a class is basically where your program will be, and we're gonna call this episode one. You can name your class whatever you want. So now we open up this class. I suggest you delete everything over here and up, up there. So now we have a blank slate. A blank slate. And this class really contains your program. And okay, so above the class, usually in ICSE, they make you do these things called comment lines. So let's go full screen. So comment lines. So that's easy. Just do two, two forward slashes. So that gives you a comment line. So whatever you type here is not a part of the program. It doesn't pass the pro. It doesn't read it while the program is compiling. So sorry. Okay. So over here we can type. Tutorial one. I'm just saying what, what's going to be there in your ICSE portions. We're going to have to do it in this kind of style. So, tutorial one, these are your common lines. Tutorial one, the basics. Then we're going to have to say the, 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 name, of the name of the program, the class name, next year name. And the date, which I will be writing in the Indian format or the other format, which you're not that familiar with. So now we have our comment lines. Of course, we also had another extra comment line. So this is our basic program. Now, if you want to get your program running, you got to type this statement over here. And now, one thing I will tell you. Public static void made of these two things is very interesting for the fact that everywhere other than BlueJ, you will be required to put string args. I think that's the syntax. But in BlueJ, you don't have to put it. That's why I'm not going to put it. And I think that's our second shell of the program. So as you can see, I'm closing all my curly brackets. That's because I want to keep the program looking neat. And I suggest you also do that because the teachers really like it when you have your program contained. OK, so next up, I'll be teaching you the one line of code that you need to print something. And I want you guys to try it. System.out.print. L and hello world. So I've just done one line of code, and basically, what it's telling the system it's telling the system to give it output to print on the line hello world. Hello world. That's what it's going to print. Now, to run the program, let's click compile. It says class compile, no syntax errors. But suppose I I don't system compile boom. So I did error system 
Okay, we go compile. So it was that time. So that's what I really like about BlueJ. It really helps you find your mistakes and take care of it much faster. So now that we've done this basic block, let's run it. We can uh, go over here, look at this, right click over here, right click, click void bin. Now we get this window, hello world. And that's it, you guys, for the first tutorial. Uh, we will be doing tutorials. Tell me if you guys like this. Share it with your friends who are just going to be starting. And I think I, I hope I can get them all into the basics of Java by the time the new year, the new school year starts. I'm going to be reviewing everything that I've learned this year. Uh, if you want, I'll show you the game plan. First, we're going to do basic printing. Then we're going to begin to take inputs and deal with that for some time. Then I'll do decision-making statements, if, else, dust and ifs. Then we're going to go on, move on to switch case, which is another pretty interesting thing. Then we're going to go to for loops, while loops, and do while loops. And, uh, and then we're going to go really into nested loops. And we're going to cover all this uh, in, I hope, three or four months and teach you the Java you need for your year one of 9th ICSE. Of course, you can also use the same code and the same uh, environment if you're a budding programmer and you want to learn. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, I'm Marty and bye.